course, as the snow falls, people in Grove City still cleaning up from the tornado that hit there Tuesday. AEP says a vast majority of those who lost power during the storm do have power back on tonight. AEP says only 63 customers are still without power. That's down from more than 400 yesterday. Today, crews started putting up metal poles to replace the wooden ones that were knocked down during that storm. Full power might not be restored, though, until sometime Sunday night. One of the places still without power is the Church of the Nazarene. NBC4's Sean Lanier is there live tonight with how that church and the community are coming together. Sean? Well, that's right. Right now, there is a lot of work that is still happening here in Grove City. You can see right behind me, crews are still working late into Friday evening, but there is light at the end of the tunnel. I spoke with one of the pastors at the Church of the Nazarene, and he says all that would happen this week, he believes, will serve a bigger purpose for this community. We appreciate what they're doing. They've got a thankless job. You know, everybody wants to know how soon are we getting our power? We would like to know that as well. It's a question on the mind of the senior pastor here at the Church of the Nazarene. The answer is probably Sunday night. Crews will continue to work into the weekend to restore power and peace back to the people of Grove City. We know it's been a big inconvenience for these folks, and we want to see them get back to life normalcy. But this church has been working just as hard in its community. And our people stepped up and have been clearing yards, and getting debris out of the way. And even feeding people in the community and the workers who were trying to restore everyone's power. They have worked tirelessly to get all this stuff done. Benson says even if AEP is unable to restore power to his church this weekend, he has the generators that will. He just wants the community to unite and heal during a special service. But this service is really all about pulling the community together and uh, showing them that, hey, we've been through rough stuff. He adds this is the first step they can take to come back better than they were before. Instead of just being strong, we're Grove City stronger. We're going to come through this stronger than what we were before. And they'll have services on Saturday evening and Sunday morning. They say that they'll ask people to park in the Grove City High School parking lot if they can't get through this road because this road right here where the church is at is still closed and doesn't expect they don't expect to open it back up until Monday. Local for you in Grove City, Sean Lanier, NBC4. Thanks, Sean. Of course, we'll continue to follow what happens in the aftermath of the storm. For updates, stay with NBC4 at NBC4i.com.